All right, welcome back, everybody. Today we are going to learn how to do the tabs. So tabs, you can see them right there, just like in well, not just like the trailer. In the trailer, they mounted uh, engines and turbines directly to the balloon. I just found a way to mount them using the disentanglement glitch. If it's even a glitch, it just we could just call it disentanglement. So we're gonna come down here. I have a whole side prepared for us. And we are going to do that. Now, because it's a T, you could label it transportation anchor bracket if you want, because you can also attach engines to it. But today we are going to do the turbines. So you are going to need metal synthetics and you're gonna need plastic scrap. So I'm gonna come out from this spot right here because the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to use uh, an every other. This is a uh, full balloon, so 2100. I'm going to start with this line, skip one, go to this line, skip one, go to that line, so that it's all lined up. Yes, six turbines are far beyond what you actually need. It doesn't matter. I'm doing this for an aesthetic. I'm not concerned with... Whoops. With uh, the look of it, because that's not the purpose of what I'm doing. So as you see, I built one regular room and two ladder rooms because I need to be at that height right there. As you can see, this height corresponds roughly with that right there. So your first one is right here. Then you... S it's going to be hard to tell right here. First one, skip one, second one, skip one, third one. So this one we can do right here. I'm gonna get a catwalk out, put one there, and put one there. We're gonna take short rail, stick it there, do that, get rid of that. Now, I can now place a turbine, which I don't have any in my pocket, of course. I can now place a turbine right there. I line them up with this corner and that corner, but do it however you want. Line them up with the bottom, it doesn't matter. It's completely up to you. Now, to get over there, you can't do it with catwalks. It's too far. Catwalks have a maximum distance of five. So we're gonna do rooms. Should be far enough. Nah, let's just do one more anyway. It's not gonna hurt anything. Okay. So we're gonna mosey on back here. So we started here, line there, and we're on the right hand side of the line. So now we're gonna be on this one. And by the way, these are extensions. Each one of these seam to seam is an extension, which is approximately two rooms if you look at it. It's not exactly two rooms. It's give or take kind of kind of jobby. So we're going Did I go in front of her or behind it? I already said go behind it. Behind it. Take that. Add that. Come clear back here. Behind it. Whoop. There we go. Now, I already don't need that room. But in order to place the turbines clear back there on that one, because it's over the edge, I do need these rooms up here. I am reasonably confident that I have turbines sitting downstairs in one of my boxes. Um, let's see if we can find some. Hey, turbines. All right, so I have one regular and two upgraded. Who cares? It'll work. I'm on public test, so I've got a bunch of just random stuff. This this is the twenty story thing I've I just tore it down. Alright, let's come over here. Do your little jobby. Let's let's put the crappy one in the back. Might as well, right? So you can line it up there, you can line it up the bottom. It really doesn't matter. It's hard to do the bottom though, because this gets in the way and you need some way to actually Limit of maximum flight yes, I know. Reached. So, as you're coming back, just delete your rooms until you get to there. 
Now, at this point, I can actually reach it, but since you're at such a vertical, it's very difficult to tell if you're at that top line. I'm one of those weirdos that I like to have it aligned. I know it's dumb, but I just, I like, I wish it would snap perfectly to the corner because it drives me crazy that I can't get it just right. And I like it when I do get it just right. Nope, nope, nope. Drop that, drop that. Now, here's a tip of how you can do this. Point down, you can only do this if you're not getting lag. Point down, jump, drop, and there you go. And now you got it. So now this bad boy, grab us a turbine. And there you go. We now have three tabs. We have way too many turbines. But it's okay, because we have what we came for today. So turbine anchor bracket, or transportation anchor bracket, if you decide you want to put engines on there. So let's, let's see if I can reach it to do that. I might have to build it. I can't. So I can't reach it to actually... Go up there. Now, that is a potential problem. If you end up taking damage... It's not that... No, I can reach it. I could have swore I couldn't, but I can. No, I can reach it. You just can't reach it to take it down. I can. Nope, I can. There we go. Alright, so let's try something. I gotta get back on the ship. Let's put an engine on there. I don't know if I could reach high enough to get an engine on it. But we're gonna try. Maximum flight speed reduced. I will say this is terrible placement for equipment. Oh, oh, oh! Uh, just because of the lightning storms and all that. But what it does do is gives us more options now. I'm sorry. Let me see if I can turn that down. Oh, it really would help if we could just, you know, just chunk you. Chunk you. Um, it gives more options to... I don't know. Make your ship unique. Make your ship yours and not, oh, it's the same ship everybody else makes. Uh, it's it's different. Now, we can't angle them. So in the trailer, the turbines had a slant to them. It was like a 30-degree slant. I wish we could do that, <coughs> devs, but we cannot. So, yeah, there you go. That's how you do the tab. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow for another video. Thanks for watching.